is Jem and Max and welcome to Bedtime Vlogs. So today, maglalaro tayo ng Sims, Sims 4. 4. So our introduction lang. Sims 4 is a life simulation game where you get to play pretty much as a god. Design your own Sims, build their houses, abuse their lives, and all that fun stuff. But before we begin, we have special guest who has zero knowledge on Sims. Sabi nga nila, NSSB, no Sims since birth. Sim Let's welcome guys. Nella Adventura! Hi guys! <laughs> Thanks Nella yeah. for no problem. So, so guys, this is gonna be so fun. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, for today's Let's Play, we will be taking up a challenge sent to us from Minami no Moto. <laughs> this is called the Sim Civilizations Challenge, wherein the main goal is to create a lineage that survives all five stages of civilization. So, aside from that, per stage, we have mini tasks that we need to complete. And kay yeah. Minami no Moto. To help us fulfill this challenge, we have invited our Sims Guru. Sims Guru. Basically, Thank those you. who molded the game specifically for this challenge. So, ready na ba kayo? Ready. ready. G -g 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 -g. Let's go, guys. MSSB. <laughs> Hunting and gathering. The first ever stage of society. For this stage, I made three Sims Adam, Steve, and Eve. Their traits and ambitions all circulate around the idea that they are family-oriented hunters and gatherers, having the only roles they have at the time, therefore sharing similarities with one another that bind them together. Now for the lot. The population of the area is only around 25 to 40 people. Everything is very basic and there's no presence of technology whatsoever. Ito yung mga tasks natin for today. So una, start off with zero simoleons. Second, forage or harvest plants or fish for all meals. Third, pick a fight with a neighboring tribe. So let's go guys! Kailangan natin gawin ito. Ano yung una natin kailangan gawin? Fish. First, we need to start off with zero simoleons. So we already have zero, zero simoleons guys. Now, let's go fishing. fishing. So they go fishing kasi yun lang yung means of production nila. Plus, yung segregation or yung division of labor nila is based on only their age and their sexuality. Actually, mga jobs lang nila is since hunting and gathering is to hunt and to gather. And since age and sexuality lang naman yung division or yun yung basis nila for division is depende lang naman if bata ka, edi you're a hunter or a gatherer. So sad guys, wala tayo nakuha na fish. But we still did the task. Yeah. So good job. Another day na lang. And then the third, third na tayo agad, grabe. Let's go. Let's Pick go, let's a go. fight with a neighboring tribe. Dada, dada. Right. Kaya tayo big ng fight is para mapakita natin ano ba yung morality or yung mga laws na meron noon. So noon kasi, yung mga laws nila ay repressive. So repressive, repressive means... Ibig sabihin noon, kung nakipag-away ako kawari, hindi lang sa akin galit yung person, kundi pati sa whole tribe. Sa so, whole tribe ko or the, for my whole family. So yeah, they're fighting guys. nag a na sila. Uh, no! Or more to go, guys. Horticultural and pastoral are actually two different societies. Horticultural is for plants, as pastoral is for animals, being their sources of food. As for this second part of the challenge, we will continue the story of Eve, as Adam and Steve now died after one of them fought with the tribe, observing the idea of the mistake of one, the mistake of all. We now have home, Homer, which is Eve's husband, and Homus, the soon-to-be tribal king while everyone still being family-oriented. Similar to the previous stage, they also observe mechanical solidarity, collective consciousness of observing only one notion of right and wrong, and repressive loss. There is also an increase in the population due to small settlements. So, now, let's take our tasks for today. So, horticulture and pastoral. One, domesticate or befriend at least two animals and add them to your household. Two, nurture one cow plant. Three, sacrifice one person to, to the house, huh? okay? Yeah. And then four, move what? after one what season. Is Everything is so new, what does that mean? So, yeah, you will know. Number one, let's Dogs. go domesticate! Dogs. Dogs. Let's just say, let's just say they're cat 
Hotel. Hindi po kumakain ng mga aso. Disclaimer. Oo, uh, don't eat dogs, don't guys. Eat dogs, guys. Don't Spa. eat dogs at home. So, we have a friend of the dogs? Yeah, we have a friend of the Now, nurture one cow plant. Paano naman to? First What's the this cow, cow plant? plant? This is this one? Yeah. Okay. So, habang hinahanap nila yung cow plant, Water. yun yung nag-represent naman ng horticultural society. Yeah, we water the cow plant oh. na, guys. So, na-nurture na! May pagmamahal na! What do we need to do? We need to sacrifice one person to the cow plant. So, based on storyline, Mukhang matanda na daw yung kapatid niyang si Home. Kaya siya na kaya yung sacrifice na. Sino yung sacrifice si Home? Yeah, you have lived your life, Home. One eternity later. Ayan na! Lumaki na! Lumaki na, ayan na! Lumaki na yung kapatid. Okay, okay. Ang tagal okay. na nakatulog kami, guys. Okay, <laughs> next is to sacrifice one person. Yun na yung third. Bili, guys. Si Home. Okay. Si Home. Kasi Rip medyo matanda na siya eh. Home. So, we're gonna sacrifice him. Yeah. Ay, kasi parang mamatay natin si Eve of Depression kasi biglang naging vegetarian. All natin. along, guys, hindi siya meant to be vegetarian. For Homer, nagbago siya. Don't change for men, guys. Do it for Homer. <laughs> okay, yes. so the last one is to move after one season kasi parang namamatay na rin yung mga plants. Kasi di ba nga, ganun yung sa horticulture. Hindi yeah. nila alam ano gagawin. Pag wala naman sila farming eh. Oo. Known as the cradles of civilization, agrarian societies are characterized by seven features that you may also see in your gameplay. First, they have control over rivers. Water is essential to life after all, which is why people wanted to choose to live near them. Of course, they had to learn how to use that water efficiently. This leads us to our second feature, centralization, in which the people started to develop irrigation for farming, which was now done using animal drawn plow, by the way. Because of this, people would flock to these areas, causing our third feature, high population. But with a large number of people living in the same area, there needed to be order so people didn't just go willy-nilly. This meant having our fourth and fifth feature, coordination and control over the people. They started to create writing and number systems to keep track of the people and their properties, while also creating the concept of written rules and a ruler to govern over them. But of course, one person simply can't convince everyone that they should be a ruler, so they came up with a sixth feature, religious systems. They needed to believe that a person was worthy of being a ruler, which is why they chose people who they believed were appointed by divine mandate. Lastly, we have our final feature, which is the high division of labor. Academics, traders, and labor forces eventually emerged so that people could divide tasks efficiently to keep their society functioning. So then, I explain to Jay, ito yung ating mga goals for today. Number one, at least three animals in your household. Siguro na guys. Yeah, we have three animals. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, tapos sa pala. So next, designate a god king. So background lang, namatay si Eve, namatay si Homer, nang walang iniiwan na anak, kaya ang susunod na heir na doon ay si Homes. At siya nga ang magiging future king para sa agrarian civilization natin. Yeah, kasi siya yung owner, siya natira, siya yung all-knowing wisdom from God. So, na-designate na natin na God King si Homes? Yep. Okay, next na is enslave one person. We're oh. heir to the throne. Who do we enslave? Pinakakawa ang tayo slave, guys. Yeah! So kasi nung time na yun, malakas na talaga yung discrimination since nauso na yung mga slaves and yung mga kings mm -hmm. or mga royal families. So, Next sorry. goal is to worship gnomes and an animal of choice. So nung time nga na doon, na i-establish na yun yung mga religion. And pinaniniwalaan na yung mga pharaohs or yung mga kings, yung mga sugo o yung mga handmade of the Lord. Yeah, naka-worship na sila guys ng gnomes and cats. Sub-gods. <laughs> Dami, no? Dami, idolatry. Second to the last goal, start using simoleons, the 15,000 simoleons. The trade and purchase items to also make trees and currency. So since may concept na tayo ng mga pagkukultivate ng land, kaya na natin alagaan yung lupa na ibigay sa atin. Hira tayo, nomadics? Tumitira tayo manapit sa mga rivers. Example ng mga cradles of civilization is yung Mesopotamia, Asia, China, yung Egyptian, very important Egyptian na pinagbasehan nga ng mga sinuguro natin. Okay, so nagpa-purchase na tayo, no? 
Lastly, God King should met their heirs to throne in at least one skill. So, the okay. God King, they're gonna mentor Meso and Leo. Kasi baka sila na ay susunod na heir to the throne since sila na lang ang nasa bloodline nila. Yeah. Bago namin tapusin tong station to since natapos na kailangan Good namin. Good guys! Pakasalan. Kasi kaya ikaw din yung lineage, di ba? Number one rule yun. So let's go and mamanghikan! <laughs> Okay, so then nagpakasal na sila. Happy marriage, guys! Happy marriage. Long live Pendulum and Cleo. Cleo. Throwback. So how did the Industrial Revolution come about back in 18th century England? Well, here are some of its causes and preconditions. Natural resources, geography, investment capital, labor supply, increased demand for British products, expansion of transportation and colonial empire, agricultural changes, stable government, and inventions. Basically, industrial societies are now driven by the use of technology to enable mass production. So we're currently fighting a job for Mr. We got a business job, guys. Now we gotta bring this back to the crib. For solidarity, instead of mechanical, nagiging organic na. Nauso na interdependent since nagkita na natin na not all people know the same thing. So for example, dito sa game natin, nagkita natin na nadali ni Mr. Maklo ang kanyang pet sa isang veterinarian. Kasi syempre, though businessman siya, hindi naman niya alam kung paano maging veterinarian. Dito rin naman may iba yung morality from collective consciousness to really collective representations since each group or collectives have different set of norms and values. Sample, iba yung values ng atheist sa mga thieves while the laws from repressive na pinapatay ang buong pamilya nagiging restitutive na kung saan kasi nila talaga may sala siya lang ang ikaw. So isa sa mga main problems of modern society is anomie. A-N-O-M-I Anime is a state of normlessness, a lack of normal ethical or social standards. This causes feelings of alienation among individuals because they feel like their only attachment is to a system in which they don't believe or they don't feel a part of it. Pero meron tayong solution dyan ayon kay their kind. Ang occupational associations. Kung mag start from a smaller group, tas saka natin fix yung larger. So dito, mapapansin natin yung mga proletariat at capitalist. Kaya, nausuwi ito yung cheap um, labor, cheap na wages. It's because very indispensable na yung mga jobs ngayon. So since marami yung mga goals namin and pinas forward na lang natin for this vlog, nagawa naman namin lahat. So, yeah, <laughs> So they become less dependent on machines because hindi na na offer yun ng mga machine. So na malapit na sa sila sa mga tao na more specialized in these fields. Ay guys, may platis ako. Hindi niya ba nalilis? Ba't ako yung daldal ng daldal? Bakit? Ang nga, ba't nga ba? Ninuno ko si In Winter. Ha? Wait, 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 Lolo. Siya yung nagsabi sa atin mga ideas sa solidarity. Kaya pala alam na alam mo yung topic. Oo, kaya nag-volunteer ako mga guys. Inherited na pala yun. Past knowledge na pala yun sa'yo eh. Pero sabi nga ng kanyang idol si Herbert Spencer, ang society natin ay niwala sa structural functionalism. We are all parts that play a huge role. All parts of the No! <laughs> we are all parts of one big body. Yes! One organs! Big... Organs, organs! If one organ fails, <laughs> if one organ fails, everything in the system fails. Thank you, 